आर पी वाई क्यूज रियली इंपॉर्टेंट मैम आर दे रिपीटेड एज इट इज then if you talk about these kind of trends same trend that was asked in 2025 you can also get confused even if you know the answer you can get confused in telling the order right so order based quest pyqs and also non pyqs that are related to pyqs the biggest question in students mind at this point just two months before the exam is ma'am are pyqs really important ma'am are they repeated as it is in the exam so let's talk about that with facts right so understand one thing that in one year you have two attempts and there are so many ships and that is the reason you have around 1500 something pyqs in just one year now in a designated syllabus right the examiner cannot form new new questions again and again that means they will modify the previous questions only some of them will be new but previous year modification is used here there is some analysis that we do right i can even show you the proof here if you see this here this was the question of 2024 and i'm showing very close years so that you know that how in just one two year gap the questions are repeated even in the shifts how the questions are repeated right so if you see this is 2024 same question was asked in 2022 and this has been repeated again and again then if you talk about these kind of trends same trend that was asked in 2025 was also before asked in 2024 in the form of match the following now you will see that here the trend is same atomic number electronegativity density first ionization that is also almost the similar thing but now here what you will see the way they have asked this question has changed right so not as it is they copy paste it for example here you see j 25 these a questions are related to stability of intermediates that has been asked related to acidity and same acidic character question has been asked similar kind of question right that was asked in 2021 so this is just few examples that i have shown you right there are so many other examples unlimited examples where you will see the repetition of questions but it will not be copy paste maybe the way they ask the question the statements maybe will change maybe firstly they have asked match the following now they will ask assertion reasoning question based on that maybe in a numerical they will change the values and sometimes even the values are as it is kept right so that means you need to do firstly i'll talk about chemistry here right so in chemistry organic chemistry inorganic chemistry and physical chemistry you have so we'll talk about what is the analysis what exactly are the kind of questions that are repeated that we have to focus on right so if you talk about organic chemistry very famous kind of question are stability based questions stability of intermediate acidic strain basic strain and these are very much repeated questions right you will see almost every shift almost every attempt you will see definitely one or two questions minimum from this particular thing and that they ask is on the basis of order based question right so that uh, your mind right you can also get confused even if you know the answer you can get confused in telling the order right so order based questions are asked then guys next kind of questions that they ask is from reagents and from the conversions so they can also give you directly from the reagent a to b b to c c to d that kind of question or they can also give you the kind of questions like match the following to understand see in one question they have asked you four questions here right so match the following that's why definitely you will see questions based on match the following so that in one question three to four questions they can ask you right then conversion based questions right here also the knowledge of reagent naming reactions is very important and you need to apply these uh, this knowledge into the questions as well right then if you talk about from organic chemistry another kind of questions are statement based question assertion reasoning questions right true and false which of the following is correct which of the following is incorrect these are statement based questions right so in this majorly they focus on isomerism or they focus on now uh, some theory parts of the reaction or they will focus on physical properties right in uh, order based reaction also they can ask you physical properties of any of the functional group right so that was the uh, whole analysis of organic chemistry right so these are again statement based questions so this is how organic chemistry is asked to you this is how uh, different different topics are asked in the exam right that we see from the analysis right then if you talk about physical chemistry here in physical chemistry guys first is major part is calculation based questions that they ask you in physical chemistry 
most of the questions will be based on calculation based different different formulas will be there right you apply the formula uh, then directly one of the options will be correct according to the answer simple numerical based question it will be right then the next kind of question that they ask you is statement based questions from physical chemistry this is from the conceptual knowledge of physical chemistry right so that's why i tell you that just rote learning of the formulas will not work because these kind of questions you can only understand you can only answer only if you have conceptual knowledge of each concept that you have in physical chemistry right then guys if i talk about inorganic chemistry majorly it is divided into block chemistry and your theory based chemistry inorganic chemistry so from the chemical bonding and coordination chemistry they ask you most of the cases they will ask you match the following question related to shapes hybridization magnetic moment right diamagnetic paramagnetic nature right then you will see that they also ask order based questions and order based questions are asked based on some sometimes order based plus match the following that is asked right each match the following will have a order and that's how they can ask you the question okay that i showed you just in the starting right so these are order based questions increasing order decreasing order exceptional order all these things now in the exceptional order one category is this is again the statement based question related to the theory part right like isomerism these are the uh, 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 this is the part of coordination chemistry so all these things are there the theory part right then guys there is one more kind of question i think i skipped to write it here right one more kind of question that they ask you is based on like this order based question is there match the following question is there assertion reasoning question that they can ask you majorly from inorganic chemistry it's ncrt that is very very important and understand one thing about inorganic chemistry they cannot change the order guys they cannot change the exception exception will not be changed it will be repeated again and again asked you in a different form that's how inorganic chemistry works right and for the assertion reasoning questions you must know the reason behind the exception otherwise you might end up doing it wrong right so that is why all these things are important for you to understand now guys let's talk about the common mistakes now ma'am okay pyqs are important we understood them but you can give us that okay these you already told us that these kind of questions are asked then ma'am we will do we will see the theory part then what's the need of solving the questions ourselves if they are repeated only right ma'am what's the need of that let's talk about that right why practicing pyqs is so important for you let's talk pyqs and also non pyqs that are related to pyqs okay non pyqs that are related to pyqs right let's talk about that first is physical chemistry in physical chemistry guys not practicing enough questions you are not practicing enough questions you are making calculation mistake and these calculation mistakes will be the reason that you will mark the wrong answer even you know the concept you know the core concept but because you are weak in calculations you might end up losing the marks right that's why speed is so important same applies to physics and uh, mathematics as well where speed is important for you in calculation in numerical based thing right so practicing gives you speed plus accuracy and you will make your own tricks while solving right then in inorganic chemistry the biggest mistake students do is they just wrote wrote learning they do they just cram all the trends okay this is that this is that this is that by mnemonics that's fine that's great if you learn it from the mnemonics but if you don't know what is the reason behind that how will you tell assertion reasoning question how will you solve true and false questions right so statement based questions will be very difficult for you to answer right that is the reason you need to go through inorganic chemistry by practice practicing various kind of questions right one statement how it can be asked in different different ways right that is very important for you then for organic chemistry the biggest problem that students face is ma'am how do i learn all these reagents ma'am so many reactions it has how do i learn it who is asking you to just sit and learn it why don't you practice a question based on that concept and when you practice it again and again and again when you see let's say on one concept you have seen 15 questions pyqs non pyqs related to pyqs you don't need to cram it it is automatically in your head because you are practicing things right 
you now for example now why eating is so easy for you you just eat you that's it why it is so easy because you practice it daily those who don't practice it right for example uh, someone's muscles are not working this eating will be a task to them because they have never practiced it now for example you are you know you are riding a bicycle right why it is so easy for you you are driving a car or active or why this is so easy for you because you do it daily when you do something in the first go right that means when you do something for the first time right you won't be able to do it in the first go you will be like oh my god i don't know i'm making mistakes this and that this happens we are humans right but when you practice that thing on daily basis right that became so easy for you you're like oh my god that was so easy right same thing is with questions right so when you do it for the first time you your hands will shake a little bit but after that when you do it consistently right you will feel relaxed and you will get that confidence now i have seen students doing random questions right they are doing even in pyqs they are doing same kind of pyqs again and again they don't do molded pyqs they don't do pyqs uh, non pyqs which are little bit higher level than the pyqs but on the same concept how they can ask you the pyq again little bit on the higher side they don't know that right and that is the reason guys we are conducting a marathon on this friday right you can see that on the live sessions as well on this friday right we are conducting this marathon pcm physics chemistry and mathematics all the subjects will be there top 300 questions we will do for you right that definitely you will see those questions in your exam right so this is going to be a very important session for all of you and it's a combination of physics chemistry and mathematics so we will not get bored here right we all the teachers will be here right with you guys solving the questions right and all the questions are hand picked by your teachers itself we have picked it ourselves and that is why guys this is going to be a uh, a uh, push towards your preparation right so don't waste your time and go and hit the like button make 100 uh, make 1000 plus likes before the session itself it's on friday guys right so i want to see you all right and before going guys one more thing that mv sat scholarship program is now online it is live at this point and here this is happening from 21st to 28th of october you can just give this test sitting at your home right there is you don't need to go anywhere you just need to sit at home and give this test and one major important thing is that you can get 150 crore worth of scholarship and 2 crore worth of prizes like iphone ipad drones and etc and also if you register yourself right even if you are not among this 2.5 lakh test takers right among 2.5 lakh test takers will definitely if they have air they will definitely get this but even if you are not able to uh, you know have that seat even then for your registration right some lucky students will be awarded with the same things here right so that's a, a very very good initiative by vidantu for this diwali season and guys on this diwali season we also have 30% off on our test series on the pyqs book and on the flashcard so go check it out in the in the description box and that's it for you guys i'll see you all on friday in the marathon see you all